Some creatures seem to have it all. Grasp anywhere feet, moisture repellent skin, ultra HD color night vision, and tier one camouflage. Even with it all, these creatures don't have it easy in the fight for survival. This beautiful lizard, with all its amazing features, is one example of a highly equipped animal whose life is constantly threatened by many predators. Welcome back to Nature Unearthed. The other night, I was on a killer bee removal call. And while I was working, I saw a pop up out of the ground. Not just one, but two Mediterranean geckos. And these guys are amazing little reptiles. Now, they are native to the Mediterranean area, hence their name. They were introduced to the United States many years ago in different parts, Florida, Texas, Arizona, California. And so there is a healthy little population of them here. I was just very surprised to see them. The gecko family is one of few lizard species capable of vocalizing. The Mediterranean gecko is able to communicate through a series of clicks, chirps, and squeaks. These are insectivores, as you can see here. They've got very large eyes uh, with vertical slits. They're nocturnal. They, they live in areas where uh, they can hide away in cracks and crevices. Oftentimes they'll make their way into our houses and that's because we have lights. Lights attract insects, moths, um, ants, little other uh, flying nocturnal insects and these guys like to eat them. You can often find them if they make their way into, their ha into your house, hanging on the wall, hanging on the ceiling, getting close to those lights at night because that's where they're gonna catch a bite of one of those favorite food, any insect. Now the skin of these little guys is hydrophobic. That means that when water touches them, it beads up on the surface and does not uh, absorb in. It helps them to stay dry in moist areas. And that's important for their health because if they get wet and they become cold, they can become sick and that reduces their ability to feed. And look at the coloration difference. This one's a little darker. This one's a little lighter. You can see on their eyes, they've got that uh, very thin skin so that the eye color of the actual eyeball comes through almost makes it kind of look like eyeshadow kind of neat but on the other on the underside they're very very pale white almost no pigmentation at all there's some cute little guys and they have just these amazing little hands the coloration of these geckos is cryptic breaking up the outline of the animal with variations in color and texture by remaining motionless, they become almost invisible. They will avoid uh, larger reptiles. Some larger lizards will eat them, snakes will eat them. I'm sure that birds, if they could get their beak on them, so to speak, they would eat them. But typically, I'm, I don't think you're going to find them in the digestion tract of a bird because they are nocturnal lizards, uh, unless it's something like a nightingale. Now, what's interesting about these little geckos is they have a cool reaction spot response if a predator does come around them. Their tails, and as you can see here, this one's already regenerated. This one has dropped, but it hasn't, hasn't quite regenerated. This process is known as autonomy. If a predator grabs their tail, 
they're able to break it off at pre-selected segments and get away. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be that the predator causes that. If the gecko becomes frightened enough, it can wriggle around in such a vigorous way that those pre-selected segments uh, encounter enough pressure and there goes the tail. The tail autonomously wriggles around on the ground, attracting the attention of a predator. Predator goes after the tail and the gecko gets away. That's why it's called autonomy. Another interesting thing about this specific gecko is that while they have these huge large eyes, they don't have eyelids. They have to keep their eyes moist by licking them. Keep the dirt and uh, grime out of their eyes by licking them. Now, what causes a um, gecko to be able to climb? These amazing little feet. Geckos are renowned for their ability to cling to almost any surface, even glass. These remarkable little feet, while appearing insignificant from above, hold the secret underneath. It's not the gecko's nails that allow it to go upside down anywhere, but its foot pads. Each toe is covered in hundreds of microscopic bristles called seta, which in turn branch out into hundreds of smaller bristles called spatula. These flexible microbristles align so closely to even the smoothest surface that the electrons in each align and generate a temporary electrostatic adhesion. Man, you guys are cool. Unfortunately, the gecko didn't think the same about me and demanded that I let it go. Sometimes they give you a nasty little bite, but it, it kind of just, it doesn't really hurt. It just lets you know, hey, I want to get out of here. The Mediterranean Gecko. Until next time, I'm Miguel Caldera. Get out and enjoy your hunt for nature. Humans tend to mimic the gecko by holding on to much. But take a lesson from the gecko's tail and from these inspired words. Do not cling to the events of the past, neither dwell on what happened long ago. Look, I will make something new.